watching everybody another video from Krabi in province I'm in Aunen and I thought to come out have a dinner and have a video at night to see how everything is going on at night here this is my first night at Krabi A little bit windy today, but it's good. for dinner and probably it's going to be busy next like two hours. Now it's roughly like seven o'clock, seven thirty. about this hotel probably I'm gonna come and check it out it's like a apartment you have your own kitchen and everything so that's a very good option I guess Travel agent because she gave me the most honest price. From here to Kusamui, everybody says 1100 Thai baht, but she was giving me 1000. So I'm gonna go back to her because I said probably I'm gonna go and see her today. It wasn't bad. No, I think because I was thinking to go 21st, on November 21st, but probably I'm gonna extend it here and go 28th. So for that reason, uh, what I want to do, I want to go and tell her that I haven't made my decision yet. So probably I'm going to go on 28th instead of 21st. But let's see where she was. She was the most honest one. She is straightforward. She told me that she can give me 1,000 instead of 1,100. So I don't want to lose her because that was the best possible price that I got from her. working after 
after 6 p.m. So now it's roughly 7, 7 30. So hopefully she's somewhere here. I believe daytime it was even more busy, but now people a level resting, I guess, after the beach. So probably it's gonna get busy next two, three hours. Another bar here. Thai food, pizza, pasta, like everything. So I don't believe that really because. Hola amigo. Oh, hello, how are you doing, man? Good, good. So, because that's impossible for one restaurant to have all the dishes, but here it's just like this. Uh, like in the Indian restaurant, you have a Thai food, you have pasta, you have Italian food, you have pizza, you have taco, you have everything. So pretty much, pretty much that's crazy. Blue Hotel. Huh? Where she was? That's the question. And I cannot wait to call my bag, guys. Like, Seriously, it just drive me crazy for twenty dollars. Withdraw money, I paid seventeen dollars fee. So seven fifty in Canada and roughly eight dollars ATM fee here. So it just drive me crazy. Why would I withdraw twenty dollars with seventeen dollars fee? I cannot wait to call my bank, but now it's roughly like seven o'clock. I guess 7 o'clock, now it's 7 o'clock in Toronto, so usually this guy is starting at 9 I think, all the, all the banks. And I'm wondering where was that lady? She says she's going to be here after 6 o'clock. So. You're going to go for Oh man. Why this happened? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Uh, good, bien. Bonito, yes? I don't know, the guy is speaking in Spanish with you. <laughs> Guys are character. I was walk walking by and I saw an old British man. He was walking and this guy approached him and he said, "Guess what?" He said, "What?" He said, "Now is the time for you to have another beer." <laughs> so they're professional. They know what to say. I'm trying to 
find her. Definitely here is a red light district, I guess. <laughs> Looks like it, I don't know. But uh, probably. <laughs> Hello. So next to food market. So red light district next to food market. That is Thailand. That's the way it is. I don't want her to think that 
I didn't keep my promise. Just I want to let her know, let her know that I'm going to stay here for one extra week. Oh my God, there she was. So if you need a tour, really, she's the most honest individual. Whole day I was getting prices and everybody was giving me a wrong price. So come and see her. She's sitting here all the time. Like after six o'clock, am I correct? You're working after six o'clock? So she's working, she's working every day after six o'clock? She gives you the most honest price. So I'll see you at 26. So you're going to be here after six o'clock, right? Perfect. I'll see you soon then. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. So finally, I find her. Seriously, if you want a tour or anything, come and see her. She's the most honest one. She didn't give me a run around. She gave me the most honest price. Everybody says 1100, 1200, but she said just 1000 baht. So, 26, I'm gonna go and be book with her to for Kusamuri. So, okay, now I know where she is. So let's carry on and let's go see other hot spot. So far, so far I find one red light district next to a uh, food market oh, I'm sure there is a lot of them here Blue Hotel So there's a lot 
was happening here and I decided to stay until 28. So, which means I'm staying here uh, roughly two weeks. And then heading to Kutamui. I'm sure for some is booming now. But in Lankavi, I don't know, maybe I saw altogether 50 tourists. Nothing else. That shows the difference. There's a few bars here, so let's see. If I can show you guys the night light. But it's too soon, it's just like 7.15 now. Too soon. Probably people now resting after beach and all day having dinner. And probably it's gonna get busy after 11. Here's what it's like now. Today and tomorrow. Oh, already you saw me twice today. I'm wondering should I get one of these fish shirts? Endroga. Endroga. 200 baht. I'm having a beer and just walking by the beach 
and relaxing. So I talked to one of the uh, bartenders here and he said usually it gets busy after like 11.30 or something like that. So pretty much I'm going to wait until 11.30. Another bar here. With the light music. out about here, Krabi, is not like Phuket, Patan, or Pattaya, or Bangkok. Because massage girls or bar girls are so aggressive there. Here they are very chill, very, very chill. They don't push you or they don't grab you or anything like that. Because in Patan you cannot even walk because this massage lady just jump on you. But here no, nobody bothers you pretty much. The approach is very nice. Even the bar girls or something, they are very kind, very nice. They are not aggressive whatsoever. So that's why the sex tourism in Phuket, Patan, and the Pattaya and Bangkok. Here I don't see that. Probably some of you guys watch my video 
In Kuala Lumpur, there is a street that is most famous street for bar and clubs, and all together it was like 10 bars. It's a joke really, compared to Thailand. Here you don't get bored. Seriously, here you don't get bored. Everybody that watching this video, if you want to have complete package reading, really, that's my opinion again. That's just my personal experience and my personal uh, opinion. If you want to have a full package, regardless of what you want to do, if you are in the party, if you want to, you know, just have a relaxed vacation or any other activity. The best spot is Thailand. That's it. I really believe that. So this man says he has the best food here. You have to prove it. No. I'll be back tomorrow and you have to prove it. Yeah. Sure. Yes. So he's gonna prove it tomorrow. Let's see. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay guys, second beer. I really love Thailand. Chillaxing. Update on my crazy ATM fee. I called my bank and I explained my bank that I have to pay two fees one seven dollars fifty cents for the transaction in Canada and I'm sure everybody that came to Thailand they know ATM charges 220 baht which is equal to eight or I would say eight dollars Canadian. So instead of six thousand baht, I got six hundred baht. Six hundred baht is roughly like twenty-three dollars Canadian. So for twenty-three dollars cash, I have to pay sixteen. Sorry, yeah, sixteen or seventeen dollars fee for this goddamn ATM machine. I called my bank in Canada. I explained the whole situation and they told me because the transaction is so new so they don't see it because it's not posted yet and I have to call them back again to see if they can waive the fee so she said she cannot do anything about the fee in here which is 220 baht but maybe they can help me on the seven dollars fifty cents Fee that I have to pay in Canada. So let's see if they're gonna do it. But it's just a nightmare. First individual that I talked, which was Carlos, this goddamn Carlos, he wasn't listening to me. He was keep telling me the same shit. Sir, you have to pay. It's just like a. I hate this kind of people when you're talking to them. He knew what is the problem. But he was like a machine, like a goddamn machine. Like program this goddamn guy to answer the same thing over and over and over. He was keep telling me, sir, there is a fee of $7.50 and there is a fee of... I said, hey, Carlos, I know, I know. But listen to me, it was a transaction that maybe the ATM machine didn't have enough money. So instead of 6,000, I got 600 baht. Who's gonna pay $17 fee to withdraw $23 Canadian? But he wasn't listening and I hate these kind of people. Like Carlos, I'm gonna give you a, a review of zero when I get the email from CIBC Bank. But number two, I called again. Usually I don't give up. 
and I talked to somebody else, Heather from Ottawa. So she was from capital city of Canada. She was very helpful. She said, be honest with you, I don't see the transaction because it's so new. So what is posted, call us back and definitely I can waive that $7.50, but I cannot do anything about uh, the fee that you paid in Thailand. So, but she was helpful. But the Carlos guy, he was like a machine, the goddamn machine, you know, like a computer. It's just a robot. It was keep saying same thing over and over and over. No customer service, no nothing. Anyway, so this is my situation, guys. For $23, I'm paying $17, $18 fee. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Especially in the situation that you're on vacation, not vacation, traveling, and you don't have the income and you're struggling and you have to pay huge amount of fee. Hello, how are you? <laughs> so, you have to pay huge amount of fee for just $20 cash. How are you doing? Hi, hi, bye. <laughs> so, so, this is the situation. But anyway, I'm happy. Cheers to you guys. Cheers. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. So he's good. I'm good. Everybody's good. So let's see what we're gonna do next. So this is one of those days. crazy you know 48 hours for past I hope you guys subscribe I hope you guys subscribe because for past 48 hours everything is going wrong from hotel to the goddamn ATM machine everything airport fee I have to pay like $27 for extra a little bit extra weight on my luggage usually for past 23 months I never ever paid for it usually no <laughs> air sorry any nobody was charging me extra for like one kilogram or two kilogram but this goddamn angry Malaysian girl charged me roughly $27 Canadian so for the past 48 hours, I'm going to hell pretty much. $15 here, $26 there, hotel. <laughs> but you know what? That's part of life. Cheers to that. I hope you guys subscribe and leave me a comment. I hope you guys have a fun time for the past 48 hours. Not like me. <laughs>
be back. Uh -huh. <laughs> But here they don't have a beach party. Or maybe I don't know the place. Is in Kusamui there is two famous ones, Art Bar and those one that following my uh, my channel or subscribe to my channel they can see it. There is a huge beach party in Kusamun and I believe and you know guys now I'm really confused like I want to stay here because I spent a lot of time in Kusamun roughly like six months seven months but this is my first time in Krapi I used to be in Phuket and a few other places Bangkok I want to spend a little bit more time here but I missed Kusamui already like seriously like I'm a little bit tipsy now and but I really love Kusamui I believe everybody has a happy place in their life and I believe Kusamui is for me like you can find everything Kusamui probably now beach party and everything else But what I'm gonna do, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spend at least one more week. I mean, up to 28th of November here. Then I'm gonna go to Kusamu. Because I'm sure there's a lot of places here that I have to see. So I don't wanna leave here without seeing all these places. <laughs> yeah so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna spend at least two days 18 so up to 28 10 more days and definitely i'm gonna get my ticket so make sure i leave 28 here because i want to go back to cool summer I'm gonna say something and that's accurate based on what I saw so far Thailand is a smart country really smart country what they did they bring the tourists here because first of all they are good with the customer service they are friendly people they don't have attitude they are really kind people this is based on my experience and I hear from a lot of people 
that's why there's so much tourist here so that's that's the reason people happy here otherwise if you're not happy you know tourists doesn't go anywhere if they're not happy so <laughs> and and when I was in Malaysia, I'll be honest with you, I come across extremely ignorant, maybe that's not the right thing to say, ignorant customer service pretty much in aspect of hotel or anywhere else. They're not friendly when you're going to a restaurant or anywhere else. But here it's just totally different. People are smiling. People are happy. People, they want to they wanna, they wanna give you good service. Thai people are really nice. Thai people is really, really kind people. And I believe, I hope, uh, there is more success, there is more business, there is more, more money comes to this country because they're trying very hard in terms of customer service to tourists. Because some of the tourists is not easy to deal with. Some of these drunk people is just not easy to deal with. But these people are so patient, so kind to deal with everybody. What happened was, be honest with you, the hotel that I'm staying is an old building, so there's a lot of issues. But every time that I call in them, they come up and they want to really help. They want to change my room or they want to fix the problem. So that's really important. I don't get upset when it's like somebody wants to help. But for example, in Malaysia or Indonesia, when I was in Bali, so if you complain about something, they don't care really. Or maybe they help, but just not like Thailand. That's why I'm saying here is the heaven. To be honest with you, I believe one day I'm going to live here for the rest of my life. It just, I really, I have a connection here. Like I can't see myself here for the next 20, 30 years. the most important things you have to find a place that makes you happy and I believe Thailand makes me happy I'm not doing anything I'm just walking around with the camera and it just makes me happy I'm satisfied people are smiling especially Thai people they are very kind oh man probably I find my happiness in Thailand Okay guys, I'm going to end the video. I'm going to have another beer. Just relax. I hope you guys enjoyed this video too. Take care of yourself and please subscribe. Leave me a comment. Take care you guys. Bye bye.